Well, we see a lot of sports injuries to the foot and ankle at Warner Orthopedics and Wellness. Common sports injuries occur usually with what we call an inversion injury, where the foot actually inverts relative to the leg. If you get a high ankle sprain, typically the mechanism is not usually the inversion, but more of an external rotation. These are injuries that take professional athletes out for a complete season, and it's a disruption of the connection between the outside ankle bone and the inside ankle bone all the way up the leg, therefore called high ankle sprain. There's actually a connection between this bone and this bone that begins here, it's in four parts and it extends all the way up the leg and that connection becomes torn or ruptured with a high ankle sprain. Another common injury that occurs mostly in basketball players with an inversion moment applied to the foot like this is called a Jones fracture. And that's where the perineal tendon, which is a long leader or tendon that attaches these muscles to this bone and lets you control your foot this way, it will actually fracture off its bony connection at the base of the fifth metatarsal. Oftentimes in professional athletes, we put a screw in this or fix it surgically. Most people who are sedentary or have desk jobs or aren't professional athletes or aren't active get treated non-operatively in a boot. Uh, depending on your activity level, I may or may not offer a surgical correction for that to get you back into whatever game it is that you play as quick as possible. Other injuries that can occur are stress fractures. There are long bones all through the foot, metatarsal bones. There are five of them for the five toes, and you can get stress fractures in any of these, most commonly the second and third. That occurs due to people with high arches who place a lot of stress on their second and third toe because they walk on the outside of their feet, particularly people that run a lot. Another common sports injury involves the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon or heel cord attaches to the calcaneus and allows you to have significant push-off strength. Sometimes these will rupture, sometimes they'll get inflamed at their insertion, and sometimes they actually just ache in the central part here where there's a lack of blood flow. And then there are a variety of different treatments. At uh, Warner Orthopedics, we range from surgical treatment to injecting platelet-rich plasma, to doing ultrasound-based treatments, to doing injections of uh, strong anti-inflammatories, to immobilization. It depends on the diagnosis and the source of the pain. But the number one reason people seek care after a sports injury is ankle sprain. It's actually one of the most common reasons anyone goes to see the physician uh, to begin with.